Hi class, this is a short video on accessing archival data. So the one I chose to play with is from Pew Research. So I did a Google search for Pew Research Center. And in here, I'm going to go to Tools and Resources because that looks like the one that might have data. So right here, we have data downloads, and it says that they make data available to public. See this post for more information. So checking that out, they give some information on how to access. They say it's not like right away, like if they did a study this year, they're not going to have the data available immediately because they clean the data first and make sure they're protecting confidentiality. But they do this American Trends panel often, and they say that's the main source of their data that they make publicly available. So looking through here, I have to register for a profile and it looks like they use all kinds of data uh, formats, so that's good. And it looks like they also have some information on how to analyze Pew Research Center survey data in R and even their own tool or their own function to use in R, introducing Pew methods and R package for working with survey data. That might be worth checking out. So most data sets are available. A readme file describes the data and any special notes. So that looks good so far. So I'm going to go back to the tools and resources and select research area. And I'll go to this American Trends panel since it says that that's the one that it has most of the people, most publicly available data. And I already know that I'm interested in police, so I'm just going to search this page for police. And we have in 2016, wave 20, where there's some police questions. Okay, let me work with that. Download this data set. I have to agree to the terms and conditions. And then I'll look in my downloads. And I have the zip file. Once I expand the zip file, I have that readme text they were talking about. Not a whole lot of information here. We got 4,538 sample. Questionnaire and top line reflect the questions. Cool. Some open-ended responses. And that's it. So not very much information in their README file. But let me see this top line file they're talking about. So here's actual questions they were asking. So I'm going to search this for police. I'm going to put them all in the sidebar so I can see what we have here. We have 31 times the word police occurs in this, in this document. So now what I'm looking for is what types of variables do they have? Like here, how much confidence do you have in the following institutions? How much confidence do you have in the police department? And notice how the responses go from a lot to none at all. And that's, that's a continuum. That's going from very little to a lot. I can treat that as a continuous variable. And that's important because having a continuous predictor means that I can interpret it as one unit increase means this much increase in the outcome, right? And having an outcome that's continuous also makes it easier to run the regression. Depending on the type of measurements we have, both for the, the independent variable or the predictor and for the outcome, 
those being continuous or categorical is what determines what type of regression I can run. So looking through this, I have that could be considered continuous. But here, even if you think both are important parts of police work, do you see police in this country as more protectors or enforcers or both or no answer? So there I don't have a continuum. It's really, I'd really be interested in either protectors or enforcers and looking at that dichotomy. So if I have the, there's two levels to that, that right there, that variable, it could be a categorical predictor with two variables or two um, levels, or it could be an outcome variable. And now that means I would have to use logistic regression if my outcome variable is dichotomous like that. So the type of measurement being used is going to dictate what type of regression you can use. But it looks like I have lots of police options here. This one's going to be more of a continuous variable because it goes from not well at all to very well. I have that little to much scenario. And just to make sure, I want to make sure it'll open. It gave me a SPSS file, which I can convert to a CSV if I want to open it in R. And there we go. We have all these variables, lots more than I ever would want, but I have the code book to help me narrow down exactly which variables I want to work with. So what I'll do is look through, kind of identify variables that I think might be interesting and go from there with the skill type to know what type of variable I can use. So there you go. That's how I would get started with the data analysis project with this particular data set.